What's up guys, Bolotai here, and I have a little bit of a game of Battlefield 3 for you. Uh, this is actually on the PC. I must try I downloaded the console version for Xbox, but uh, the EA servers have been down like all day. And Like even for FIFA 2 when I was trying to play it, I think it's because um, the beta came out today for Battlefield 3 for everybody. It's been out like for two or three days before this um, for people with like a code. If they were... Um, I don't know if they play like Medal of Honor, limit, the limited edition or something, and I don't know. There's a few ways you could get it. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, the PC version, um, and it looks pretty. I mean, it is gorgeous. Um, but I'm not very much of a PC gamer. Um, the controls were really hard for me to get used to. Actually, I'm not used to them at all. Um, for example, I don't know how to hold my breath when I aim down a sniper scope. Um, I was playing around with the snipers a little bit, and the first, like, the first one for each side, um, they're absolutely terrible. It takes, like, three to four shots, unless you get a headshot, then it's usually one. Um, but I'm pretty sure once you unlock, like, the next one, they're both, um, pretty decent. Um, you can get a lot of one-hit kills with those. Or you could just play hardcore, but they don't have hardcore available on the beta. Um... And it's, yeah, so I'm not, I'm not a, uh, I'm not very good at the PC, and there are some, like, veterans out there that just had a field day on me, because, um, they're just used to the controls and everything, and they can play, re play really well. Um, but I, I did, re like, the graphics are amazing, it's the prettiest game I've ever seen. Um, I'll have to compare that with the, like, Xbox version. Um... But I just had a lot of trouble um, getting kills. I mean, there's a few times, like when I, like this is only the first portion of the first map. So if you thought that the Battlefield 3 maps were going to be smaller, like more like um, Call of Duty, they're not at all. They're still huge Battlefield maps. Um, and honestly, if they were smaller, like it wouldn't be Battlefield. Um, and if there were kill streaks, it wouldn't be Battlefield. And if there were, um, I don't, I don't know, like, you know what I mean? Like they're not going to change the game. Because more people enjoy the way that Call of Duty is, they're gonna keep a Battlefield because they have that fan base that enjoys Battlefield. Um, but it's it's a good game. Uh, there are definitely some glitches in it, like for example, um, the blue flashing you see on the screen now. That is uh, pretty annoying. And there's sometimes where you can't aim down the sight. Um, like if you press the aim down sight button. It doesn't do it, and then you have to die, and then it'll work again. But that's pretty frustrating as well. And that actually happens to me in this game. It doesn't happen that often. Like, I was playing a few games before this, and it was fine. But it is something that they'll need to fix. But that's why they have a beta. Where, like, they can fix the stuff all before the game comes out on, like, Call of Duty, where you have to, like, live with it in the actual game for a decent amount of time before they get around to fixing it. Um... <laughs> Look at that, like, just spawn kill. I get spawn killed a lot. Like, the team I was playing against, every single player on the team pretty much had over 10 kills. I mean, was at level, over level 10 already. Um, and my squad was terrible. Like, we were the bottom four of this game. Um, I only ended up getting one more kill. Here's the um, the one sniper. Uh, this is, I don't know what side I am, I guess. Um, but this is the ones, like, there's two starting snipers, one for each side you can use um and this is i guess for the attacking side um and honestly i was doing all right with it like but it takes it takes quite a few shots to get a kill and it's pretty frustrating so hopefully the next snipers um you know work work out better and uh i don't know how to hide that chat box i don't know if you can um on pc but you you know you'll just you'll just have to live with it um it was hard enough for me to learn how to crouch and go prone and stuff. But that is another thing in this game that they didn't have in any of the other Battlefield games. And that is going prone. Usually you could only, or before you could only go um, and crouch. So that's kind of new and I like that a lot better. I hated not being able to go all the way down. Um, and I guess a cool thing I guess with the graphics sort of is um, when you hop over stuff it's really smooth. And... Um, it, it just looks really cool when you hop over stuff. But, um, as you saw there, I died to a guy. 
they look like a white light. Um, you can put flashlights on your gun. I think it's an attachment. I'm not entirely sure though. I haven't gotten a, I haven't been able to unlock it. But it is just ridiculous because you cannot see the person at all, and they can see you clearly. Um, so I don't know what they're gonna do about that. Like it, it's blinding, and you just can't do anything about it. So I'm sure they'll make it so that it's either less intense the light or um only the person using it can like get an advantage off of it with like making it brighter not blinding the other person um because i don't think it's supposed to be meant for that and if it is then um oh well uh but let's see oh the reviving thing um before in Battlefield, you just automatically got revived if someone decided they wanted to revive you. Um, but in this game, you have a choice. Um, you can press... Sp I, well, yeah. You have a choice to like be revived there, or you can just kill yourself and go to the loadout screen. Um, so that's nice to be able to have that choice, because sometimes you'd get um, like revived in a place that you were going to get killed again instantly, and, and that's not always ideal for you. Um... So yeah, another problem I was having was killing people at long range, and now I was getting killed fine by other people at long range, so I don't know if it's just me, I'm terrible at this game, or what. Um, I did have a few, like I did do alright in some of the games, but this one I just did terrible. And we got raped, we didn't even blow up the first, um, first area here. Um, my team was just, like, horrendous. But, um, you know, I enjoy the game, I enjoy the change of pace that it brings to, uh, first person shooters. Um, it's definitely not going to be played as much as Modern Warfare 3 is going to be played by me. Um, you know, it's it's just not it's not as fun, honestly. Um, but it is it's good. Like if you get really angry at uh, Modern Warfare 3 and you just want to sit in camp with a sniper, or you know, I don't. It's just it's like it's a very squad based game um, or team based game. So. You know, you help out your team a lot, and there's just not a lot of, like, going around by yourself and killing people. You really can't do that. You have to get lucky to get a, like, a good spray or something with all the team, like, just someone getting all of their team, or all their squad to spawn on them. Um, and the best I've got is, like, a triple spray, and that was just because they were all looking the other way and just, daz like, dazed and stuff. I don't know. Um, but that will probably never happen again. Um, I am, once, uh, I can get the, um, multi, I mean, the Xbox version working, or once the EA servers work again, I'll definitely be playing that a lot and trying to make a montage, uh, primarily snipers, I guess I'll have to unlock the better ones, um, but yeah, you can look out for that in the coming days, and I hope you enjoyed this, and I guess we'll see you guys next time.